At the end of this presentation, the learner will be able to describe electrophysiological influence to myocardial activity, describe how ECG is calibrated, describe the ECG waveform representation, and calculate ECG rate using the rule of 300 technique and 6 second rule technique. Let us start with the basics of heart muscle function. The heart muscles has two types of cells that influence the electrocardiophysiological activity of the myocardium, the electrical and the myocardial cells. Electrical cells make up the cardiac conduction system. This cell has the ability to spontaneously create, respond, and transmit an electrical impulse. The mechanical activity of the heart muscles are generally composed of the myocardial cells. This cell plays an important role in the contraction and extension of the, of the heart muscles. The standard calibration of an ECG paper is one millimeter. The vertical calibration is measured in millivolts. That is, the amount of electrical energy generated in the heart. The amplitude of one small box is 0 0.04 millivolts. Horizontal calibration is measured in seconds. That is, the amount of time the electrical energy traveled from one heart structure to the other. One small box is 0 0.04 seconds. In every five small boxes, ECG strip is highlighted to form one big box, or 0 0.20 seconds. Another standard feature of an ECG strip is marked in every five big boxes to form one second. Most experts usually use a 6 second EKG strip to interpret the rhythm and calculate the rate. As defined in Module 1, electrophysiological activity of the myocardium creates a unique waveform when recorded on paper. This waveform is represented by the PQRST letters. When the atrial muscles is charged up or depolarized, it creates a P wave. Ideally, after the atrial muscles have been depolarized, the ventricles are depolarized next, thus creating a QRS waveform. It is referred to as QRS duration or QRS complex. When the ventricle muscles return to its resting state, a T wave is created. PR interval is formed the beginning of the P wave to the beginning of the Q wave. This represents this time spent of the electricity to travel from SA node to the AV node. Normally, the PRI is about 0 0.12 to 0 0.20 seconds. QT interval is from the beginning of the Q wave to the end of the T wave. Normal is 0 0.32 to 0 0.40 seconds. This represents the time spent of the electricity to depolarize or repolarize the ventricles. ST segment represents the early phase of ventricular repolarization. This is the actual period when the heart muscles contracts. Isoelectric line represents as the state of the ECG polarity to be neither negative or positive. Two simple technique to estimate the ECG rate is recommended. The rule of 300 for fast heart rate and the 6 second rule for a slow heart rate. Basic assumption of the rule of 300 technique is to calculate heart rate in one minute ECG strip. There are 300 big squares in one minute ECG strip, or 1500 small squares in one minute ECG strip. If two ECG waves fall in one big box, 
heart rate is between 200 to 300 per minute. If two ECG waves fall in two big boxes, heart rate is between 150 to 200 per minute. If two ECG waves fall in three big boxes, heart rate is between 100 to 150 per minute. If two ECG waves fall in four big boxes, heart rate is between 75 to 100 per minute. If two ECG waves fall in five big boxes, heart rate is between 60 and 75 per minute. Let's try this example. Start here, then count the numbers of big boxes. The number of big boxes is about 2.1. In other words, heart rate is on the strip is 140 beats per minute. Let's try a real world example. It is recommended that you always orient yourself to the left most of the ECG strip, then work yourself to the right. Next step is to identify the similar waveforms. Look for P wave to represent your atrial rate and R wave for your ventricular rate. To calculate the atrial rate on this ECG strip, identify the first P wave to the immediate next P wave and mark it. The distance between P waves is two big boxes. The atrial rate is about 150 per minute. Take note that the P wave is located in between solid lines. To calculate the ventricular rate on this ECG strip, identify the first R wave to the immediate next R wave and mark it. The distance between R waves is about 1.2 big boxes. The ventricular rate is about 180 per minute. The six second rule is beneficial for a slower heart rate. To calculate the one minute heart rate is the count to similar ECG waveform located in a six second ECG strip, then multiply it by 10. Then the sum is your one minute heart rate. Count five big boxes to the right, mark it as one second, and so on and so forth to six seconds. Let's try to calculate the atrial rate on this ECG strip. Count the number of P waves in a six second strip. Number of P waves, six, so the atrial rate is 60 per minute. Let's try to calculate the ventricular rate on this ECG strip. Count the number of QRS complex in a six second strip. Number of QRS complex, four. So the ventricular rate is 40 per minute. For questions and comments, visit us at criticalcarewizard.com.